right, we're back. Um, for the sake of, um, for the sake of consistency, um, for anybody tuning in now or after, we just finished, uh, Tomb Raider Tuesday's, uh, Lara Croft Go. And so we have a little bit extra time on the stream, so we're going to pop back into Super Liminal. Um, since I feel like we're very close to the end of it. Um, and so, yeah. And I don't, I basically, I don't think we'll get a full stream out of it on Friday. So, this is going to be episode two. The second half of my Tomb Raider Tuesday stream is episode two of Super Liminal. So, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's get back into it, shall we? All right. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, yes, yes. We were in the, uh, shit, what's the term? Gallery, where we're multiplying things and trying to get this door open up here. Now, I had a realization, I've been thinking about this since Friday, right? And I had a realization that Perception is reality, right? And I wanted to try something to see if it would actually work involving the perception. Because, like, I could do that, right? But what if it doesn't see the ground and boom! Ha! Man, that gave me so much fucking trouble last night. Holy shit. All right. All right. Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not <laughs> make sense regardless. Why won't it let me pull that? Okay, fine. I love that sound effect so much. All right. Is there anything up there, maybe? Eh. Ah, there is something. There is a thing. Hold on. Can I get up there? Hold on. Hold on. I just had a thought, or a realization, at least. Um, is there anything I can move? I don't think so. I think I'm only in copying at the moment. Okay. So, like, I... Okay. What if I did that? That one would be enough. Fuck me. Eh. Okay. Alright, so apples are gonna be useless. Um there's a phone. Air. Eh. Okay, what if I do that? Then, nope. That. Come on, let me platform here. No. There is something up there. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> Okay. Eh. Eh. Can I? Eh. No. Can't stand on the plant, though. Can I? No. Okay. <gasps> I want the red thing. Whatever it is, I want it. I don't know what it is, but I want it. I want it. Okay, fine. What's in here? Maybe they'll give me something I can carry. Private door. Somnusculpt sleep clinic. Ah. Okay. But it's gallery. Eh. 
I have an idea. I have an idea, but I might make it really tiny. Eh. Yep, makes it really tiny. Can't even interact with it. <laughs> okay, fine. Um. All right. I want that red thing. God damn it. I want that red thing, god damn it. Alright, so I don't have anything I can copy. But can I just aha? Okay. Now. Ha! Ooh. Well, okay then. I don't know what that was. I mean, it was obviously a red knight. Or a crimson knight, one could even say. But... Whatever. Okay, fine. Dunk. Thunk. over that okay and then what's in here what's this what is this neuromorality how to start it, dream diary, okay. Can I turn that on? No? Okay. Chess pieces. Wiring dyna uh, di uh, um, diagram, that's the word. Uh, it's one of these things, okay. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Great. Um. <laughs> okay. Perception is reality. Okay. Hold on, is there anything up there that I might need to get to?
Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Look good. All right, I wonder if there's something up there for me. Hard to tell. Um, I don't even know how I'd get up there. Unless I've just made like a series of trips to get larger and larger. Uh, of these. Fuck it, I'm gonna do that. Do not doubt my will. Never doubt my will power. I need bigger than that. I wasn't even standing on that one. Uh. 
standing. Eh. Uh. Uh. Standing on this one. There we go. Let me go around the damn light. However, not something up here. Damn. Okay, fine. It is 7 a.m. It's quarter after seven. I'm all alone and I need you now. We are in sweet D. That's right. I got that sweet D. Relaxation room. Sweet E, sweet C. Sweet F, sweet B. Okay, so I believe normally I wake up in suite F and then go that way, but we're apparently over here this time, so into the into the relaxation room. Bunch of trash. I have no shadow. Ooh. Pretty. Like a cathedral. Oh wait, I better quickly check and go back and check to make sure there's no fire extinguishers I missed or walked or um, fire alarms I walked past because went because I wasn't paying attention. Any in here? No. Okay. Do 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 boo. Obviously, that's where it wants me to go. What's over here? Hello, I'm Dr. Glenn Pierce. Sumner Sculpt is a company that strives to better mankind through the use of dream therapy to better understand how to solve people's problems. Once we get the kinks worked out and receive the proper funding, the world as we know it will be changed. Our mission is perception truly reality? That's the question we, uh, you are trying to answer. Our dice, our dice exhibit will astound and maze, will astound and maze you beyond your brain's cognitive limit, thus opening your mind up to the new possibilities found within this dimension. What does all of this really mean we don't know but that's okay we're working on it that's encouraging okay 
All right, so in here we go. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Okay. Vanitor. And now we're out here on this side of things. Okay. Coolio. Hello, sweet F. Sweet A. D. Private. And we're back here. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so there are all kinds of pawns and stuff that I do need to find throughout the game. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that on stream. Okay. Bread soda. I've read that you can break the soda cans, and I want to know how. How break? How do? How do? Maybe I need a bigger room. Hold on. Let's go back to the relaxation room. Because that had a quite high ceiling. I'm on the lot, need me now. <laughs> Red soda. As a hat. Okay. There we go. You just gotta get have it fall far enough. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, what were we doing? Beating the game, I believe. Fire 
extinguishers. No, okay. Oh, okay. And a fire extinguisher. Mini soda. So that appears to be the exit. Wait, what? 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 Okay, hold on. I want to test something. Okay. So that's what it looks like through the door now. Okay. They. All right, nothing that way. And it did put me out here. Okay. Okay, I wonder if I make you super fucking huge. Yeah, there we go. Alice in Wonderland. And we're back to normal, okay. That makes me happy. It gets higher pitch. I love it. Okay. Huh. 
Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Sorry, I went bad for my iPod shuffle. Oh, wait. That's fine, I just lost it. Alright. My iPod Mini. Making sure there's nothing to interact with here. Okay. Okay. Making sure I wasn't going to fall through. Fine, I guess I'll have to leave my iPod. Legally distinct block tower puzzle game thing. Oh, it's a fan. Hi. This game. I didn't think to look for fire extinguishers and stuff. I don't see any. All right. Not in here. Eh. Fire extinguisher stuff? No. Okay. else to interact with does not appear to be okay
Am I trying to break the glass? Travel sized. Okay. Hmm. that worked so yay no fire extinguisher ah oh, that sound is a pain can I go through this I can okay Ooh, lockers oh boy Oh boy. Shower room. Okay. That's not trippy. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. By me. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. But okay. Well, we're all gonna die. <laughs> it's a pool. I love it. The fun. Voltage. Eh, there we go. Oh god, this is trippy. Oh boy. No bounce? Oh, 
I know what I should have done. I feel so tiny. That is way too big. God damn, I can't get up there in there. I am too small to be able to do this now, I think. Let's just do the last checkpoint. <laughs> I know what I should have done. Should have done was. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> I think that's what I there we go. There we go, perfection. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our eight hundred and twenty-three emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations! Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Oh, but I wanted to play the piano! 
Dang it. Fine. bit more. Alright, now you get bigger. Bigger. Bigger! Okay, fine. These loading screens are great. <sighs> it's a co wow, 3 a.m. again. It's a quarter after three. I'm all alone and I need you now. And we're immediately back into the hallways. Okay. The maintenance hallways, I mean. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnascult experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Yep. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Yep. Oh. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Hmm. 
Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. I bet there's all kinds of secrets and shit up there that I can platform to if I wanted to take the time to it. But I don't want to take the time for it, honestly. Not right now. Maybe... Maybe on my own off stream. It will sink. <sighs> oh, look, some water. Oh, okay. This skip is suitable for general waste only. Do not put hard fill, concrete, soil, bricks, and stones, as this will cause the skip to exceed the maximum weight for this skip. If exceeded, the overweight will be charged at the council. Okay. Where did I come from? I came from that way. Okay. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency <laughs> exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> Okay, GLaDOS. Wake up! Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, and we're back here. The door was shut until I turned off the alarm. Okay. 3 a.m. again. Sweet B, sweet B, sweet A. Yeah. That was trippy. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. This game is so good. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Okay.
well. Stand upright. Oh. Okay, that works. Nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Perception is a reality. Okay, well, this just got kind of adrenaline y. The music in this game is amazing. Because we're trying to outthink the fucking computer thing. Perception is not reality. Okay. Wants me to go that way. I'm seeing a wall there, but what if I don't see a wall?
Back to hall one. Okay. I, th I really do think I need to go around the... Okay. There we go. I just need to not look first. Oh, that's trippy. Oh, that's trippy. I am trying to out... I'm trying to outthink my own brain, basically. Or the computer thing, the safe, the safety feature. The GLaDOS type computer thing. Okay. gone okay uh there every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. What if I do this? Okay. And then... Anything up there? No. Okay. Aha! There's a chess piece up there. Let's see here, can I get it? Hold on, let's see if I can get it. Probably not. Maybe. Maybe I can. Hold on. Eh. Correct direction, horse. I swear to God. Okay, now. Eh, okay. Now, you. My next. Uh, I need to get that.
God damn it. <sighs> Fuck. Ah, I give up. Yay! Okay. Okay, so we got we got that and that and that and those. Uh, what's this way? Okay. Interesting. Okay, so it just it, it is actually what it is a door got it. Okay eh. Bed. Eh. Oh, Damn it, I missed a fucking thing Yeah, fine. I'm going back. I want that goddamn... I want that goddamn one of those. Alright. Speed run, let's go. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams. Thereby not that, but entering also, a state not in which you will not be able to wake up even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Oh, I didn't check this one. And I pulled that, okay. <gasps> yeah, yeah. this without moving you I just like okay. now can I get up there I wonder is there anything up there to worry about no okay what's in here Please use other door. Okay. Yeah, and I don't see any. brings me to here. Okay. Nope. Alright. Now. Get, get. Alright, don't touch that. Pull that. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Alright, that's not responding to my click, so it probably wants me to do that. At which point... Yep, that happens. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh boy. But this way. Dead end. Okay. Is it dead end though? Yes, it is dead end. Okay. God, the music in this is amazing. I love it. Hey! God damn it. Okay. Uh, I'm staying away from the beeping alarm clock for now. I'm gonna pull this damn thing. I can't move that. was cool okay perception is reality I can feel it in the back of my throat. <laughs> ah! An arrow. which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. I miss the music. I'm going towards the moon. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And here's yet another wall. Wall, okay. There we go. All right. Okay, fine. The 
This is highly I'm unusual. It appears you have entered the Somnasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. <laughs> All right. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. state, state. Okay. Conception. We're back here in conception. <laughs> Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. Obey result. Please paradox overload. <laughs> paradox, bitch! Yeah! Fucker! Yes. <laughs> Paradoxes. Now the important question is, did I just kill myself? Not an exit. Whoa. I wonder what happens if I just go this way forever. I reach a point where I stop going backwards or stop going. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think I killed myself. definitely broke for reality. <laughs> well, not reality, but I definitely broke something. This is not an exit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Am I in heaven? 
seven. Erase me, relaxiat minerals, <laughs> female toads. What? Not in exit. <laughs> I've stopped trusting shadows in this game. Here we are once again. Oh, wow. God, this game is good. Game is pretty good. I wonder will I eventually run into a wall? <coughs> they call it Halo. Yep, there's a wall there. Okay. I feel like I would have eventually ran into a wall in the other thing, in the other room like this, too. They called it Halo. I am like 75% sure that we're dead. Wall, wall, over here, okay. Ah, oh, it's so bright. <sighs> ah, windows. Wow. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Okay. switch something up here no maybe eh. okay fine I was like, oh, is that how the, how amazing would it be if that's just how the game ended? You flip the switch, goes to black, and credits roll. That would be fucking amazing. Okay. Like, obviously this is not that bad either. 
Like... Ah, okay. <laughs> they thought they could get one up on me. Ha ha he. Okay. All right, and this takes me to here. Is same thing as here. Yes? Yes, okay. All right, so what if I go into nothingness here? Yep, yeah, okay. Ah, there's a door. A door! But on this side, nothing. All right. We have found a door! I guess you could say that's adorable. You're well beyond dreaming now and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I mean, I came here because it was a game that sounded fun and looked a lot like uh, Portal, and it is. I love these mind-bending games like this. Portal, this one, the Turing test. Interesting. So as long as they're here. Yeah. As long as I have the interesting. Okay. That's beautiful. We stand a short king. <laughs> we stand a good king. As long as their name is not Wenceslas. Lust. You could get a one up on me. <laughs> oh, it's too short. Oh, no, we made it. Ah, okay. showing me what I'm looking at. 
Oh, that's trippy. All right. Seven twenty-nine a.m. Eight a.m. It's a quarter after eight. I'm all alone and I need you now. Eight a.m. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. be a struggle and you will always have problems but today you have the chance to see things differently even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first you thought outside the box and you overcame them because you saw things from every angle you understood them for what they really were because you kept moving forward no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Hey, buddy. Murder hallway. of you will say that none of this was real so how could it have really meant anything but just like the power of perspective itself it will have been as real as you believed it to be all you've got to do is wait That was good. Oh man, that was good. Oh boy. I need to, I need to see if I can't buy the soundtrack to this game because holy shit. I wonder if it's available on Steam. Yeah. Oh. Well. Oh, I can't go to the store page. Do this, can I? Oh. 
gitu kan There we go Game has been beaten I wonder what happens if I hit continue Oh, it's just the end again, isn't it? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by yeah. now, you yeah, okay. may have realized. Well, oh man, that is a beautiful game. I highly recommend. Even though, even if you've watched the entire thing and entire and watched the entire thing, and I, I still recommend it. You know, even if you know what's coming and you know the story, I highly recommend experiencing it yourself. Um, because holy shit, you know, and then you won't have me like talking over shit and all of that. Oh my god, so good. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in for the night. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night with uh, Watch Dogs 2. And then Friday, I'll need to figure out what to do, what we're doing on Friday. Um, but uh, yeah. In the meantime, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. And speaking of that link tree, I have links to my socials, my Discord, my YouTube, and my Patreon, and such, all in this link tree that you should absolutely check out. Um, and, you know, you should check them out. There's, uh, like I said, I have recommendations for other streamers, more than just the ones I had on top. Um, I have other locations where you can find me and things that I've been working on and people that I work on things with and uh, Yeah, other places to find my streams and my content and the like and even uh, Support me directly if you so choose through like the patreon or whatever Oop, Wrong button That button anyway like I said already, we'll be back tomorrow with Watch Dogs. And so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves, and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.